they have forecasted that the coming years, would, the coming months, would be very dry. And this would, <laughs> it's not good news for us, especially here in St. Kitts. We have been battling with drought-like conditions for the past six to eight months. Yeah, so in living memory, the worst drought in the Eastern Caribbean, at least, has been one in 2009, 2010, so only five years ago, five, six years ago. However, it seems like this year may be of the same intensity or even worse in terms of the coverage in the Caribbean. So we already see uh, losses in agriculture, for instance, in Western Belize, running into the millions of dollars. We see losses in productivity in Antigua and in, um, in St. Kitts. We see water uh, being a challenge in Puerto Rico, uh, where, for instance, San Juan would have had parts of the city which only got water every second day, parts only every third day. But that is not just in Puerto Rico. That's also the case, for instance, in Antigua, which in the month of September um, had homes that had access to water only once every six day. The chief economic uh, activity here would be agriculture and tourism. Drought would be a serious, serious thing, impact for agriculture, of course. You won't be able to plant crops. And even if you plant them, then you're not looking, for, looking at any good yields. And then tourism. Most of the ships that come to our shores, they, they expect to get some water from us to move on to the other ports. Because of the drought, we have had to restrict our ration water and we lessen the quantity that we give to the, uh, the, the, the ships. Some of them have you know, threaten that if they don't get the quantity that they need, then they may not be making St. Kitts Nevis another stop on their itinerary. So the drought, yes, serious impact for us here in St. Kitts. Now one particular problem for the uh, people's awareness of drought is that as the second part of the wet season came in, we finally started seeing some rains, which happens even if we're in a year of drought. What does that do? Well, it alleviates the drought problem at the surface. So that means that the vegetation turns green. We start seeing the biological life happening again the way it usually does. And so people forget about the drought problem. But the point is, even if in those months we get normal rainfall, we still overall, for the whole um, wet season, we accumulated less fall, rainfall than uh, is required to refill our, our water reservoirs to recharge our uh, aquifers, etc. So that means that we get into the dry season already with too little water. And now comes the season in which all the tourists are coming, in which the agriculture uh, re requires more water for uh, irrigation, in which there is more water requirements for uh, bushfire fighting, and in which, in general, there's more evaporation so that the, the ground surface also dries out much faster.